Hello and welcome back to Monster Hunter Stories, where today we are going to be entering this labyrinth over here in the ruins of Verdun. And also where we've got some different stuff going on. It's been quite a while since my last recording session. I've gotten my rare rewards up just because I want to get rare stuff out of here. But, as you can see, we've got a few level 99s going on. And the other two are close. So, yeah, we are definitely capable of taking on everything we find in here. Uh, I was talking last time about how, ooh, there's something special for when you beat the tower. Uh, that something special is not actually in the tower. It's actually here in the labyrinth once you get to the end. Instead of warping out if you leave on foot, you come face to face with a little something extra if you've beaten the tower. So, we're going to come to face to face with a little something extra and... Also, I finally got Thunder Call on this guy. That's nice. And we've got Thunder Scale and Spread Shock Breath and just generally great stuff. Dynamo is really good right now. We've just got Tartarus out because he's faster. Also, we are wearing Excello armor and using the Teo Sword and Shield because it's got good fire damage and great blast. And Painkiller Talisman makes it so that I'm immune to poison and fire, so... Yeah. Of course... So unlike the tower, which is a fixed challenge, this labyrinth is randomized. We don't have to fight things to get through it. Though we're certainly able to fight things. And I guess let's just take on Best Boy Day over here. Seriously, we just almost killed it. Don't use speed against one of those. If anything, let's use repeated Dragon Strike on that Gypsaros. So that left Vespoid looks like it's gonna blow up kinda soon. No, don't attack the thing that's about to explode. That's just a waste. Oh. Probably should have used spread dragon breath earlier, huh? Okay. I guess I'll fall down two turns in a row. Yeah, that would have been smart. Get rid of them Vespoids. We may have both been blinded, but that blind is now gone. And probably so is the Gypsaros. Yep. I'm not going to fight everything in here, because that would just be a waste of time, but fighting a few things here and there wouldn't be the worst plan. So let's pop this box open. Okay, that's not amazing. Pretty sure I've already got more reverse nutriments than I will ever use. Vital Essence, on the other hand, is not half bad. And I like gathering herbs these days because gloam grass buds are real. We've already had this fight. Now I kind of wish I brought something that could climb. Oh well. I think we can deal with all the other different types of things. We just can't climb. And what is a Royal Ludroth just doing out here in the open?
Also, it's by itself, so really it's just asking to die. And since there weren't any regular Royal Ludroths up in the tower, were there even purple ones? Maybe. I don't know. And hey, Warhead's maxed out. Yeah, since there weren't any that we had fought before, it was worth fighting this one just to get its info updated. Seriously, you're going to have that be on the poison. Uh, do we have anyone immune to poison? I don't think we actually do. We've got Garnet, though. That's one way to do it. And let's see if we get anything nice here. That's not really what I had been hoping for. Seriously, an herbivore egg fragment? That wasn't worth the time. Oh, hi. You're a little looty. And yeah, we've already fought you guys before. Oh, I see how it is. Seriously, though, bye. I don't remember how deep we have to go in the labyrinth, but we'll get to a place eventually. And here's where you start being able to really tell that it's modular. Because, yeah, the, the, the great tree is totally inside the labyrinth. Definitely for reals. This is an empty tree. What is a slag top doing way up here? We don't need to fight these. There's nothing wrong with mushrooms. Moxie gems are nice. Ooh, it's a red box. That's not bad. It's my least favorite kind of nutrient, but it's not bad. Seriously, though, what are the Sagtoths doing up here? Let's yell at it. Apparently had to be moving in order to yell, or at least had to start moving. And that way we don't have to fight it at all. I mean, sure, we could have encountered it and then run away. But we also could have just yelled at it. Yeah, this is definitely what's on top of the great tree. You nailed it, game. Yay, glowing grass bud. That's what I want. Use those to make dust of life. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay, bye. I've actually gone through the tower a couple times since the last episode. Because I wanted to get me some XP and also some parts from specific monsters that are guaranteed to be in the tower. So, yeah. Got myself plenty of bracky parts. And there's a purple Ludroth just hanging out in a place where purple Ludroths are definitely meant to be. Let's head down there and say hi to it. It looks lonely. Also, there's this to grab. That wasn't amazing for a red chest. Okay, so we have fought high rank purple looties. Still, let's kill this one. It won't take long.
Nice try there, Ludi. It is very nice to be immune to poison. I'm a fan. And yet, I, I didn't find even a single anti-poison talisman during my run so far. This is the first talisman I've found that had anything that would negate poison. Which is kind of crazy that I had to wait until I found a painkiller. Though admittedly, painkiller is better. Though it would have been better still if it also had another skill on it. Because you can get them with other skills. I just didn't. I saw a chest over there. Gonna have to grab it. But in order to grab it, we gotta get over to it. Which is going to take a little bit of time. But let's see what we can get. Now that's nice. I like defense nutriments. And getting five of them in one chest is... Fantastic. Oh, look, it's a small looty. I don't care. And what's in this box? That's pretty darn nice. So now for the ordeal of Earth. Looks like a job for dynamo. Because those things are weak to electric. And they like to use power and speed. So if we just spam Thunder Double Fang, we ought to do just fine. Looks like it's probably using its spikes. Yeah. gonna be pretty dead now. Shame it didn't target Dynamo more. Dynamo can actually take the hits a lot better than I can. Okay, and are we allowed to grab an egg? We are. I shouldn't have come in here with eight eggs in my inventory. Okay. That's, uh, really just the one? Why was a green Nargakuga guarding a Zenogre egg? Though I don't mind that it's, uh, gets the nose all twitching egg. That's a nice kind. Move on. Ooh. I had also been going through the tower to get my hands on commendations. So getting them here is nice. Especially getting them so early. Took almost no effort. How far do we... Okay, that's how far we have to go through here to get the load screen. Okay, that's a Jang if ever I saw one. And I dare say we're going to kill it. It's not going to have an ivory laggy friend, so I have confidence that we'll be able to take it. 
Okay, Icicle Fang is all right, but let's try Snow Shroud instead. If only we had gotten a skill seal right there. Would have saved us a Thundercrack. Okay, now Icicle Fang ought to be just fine. Yeah. Okay. And again, Icicle Fang ought to be just fine. I'm going to use Life Powder for safety. Okay, Snow Shroud is good. You, you keep doing that. Okay. We got exactly what we wanted out of him. So let's hop up on here. Use some speed. And if we win this head-to-head, -head, it should be a knockdown. And there's the victory. And this is going to be a very sad Rajang. Hooray for free Rajang parts. And we got a nerve. Okay. Back on Tartarus. Because again, he's faster. He's our fastest ride. By a pretty decent margin. Okay. Soothing with something else is okay. Though soothing is just the heal over time. That's not amazing. I don't need no Iodrome right now, but I am going to pop over in here because there might be a chest for us. There isn't, but there is a junk pile. And I'll take a life powder. Replaces the one we used fighting Rujang. It's actually a little bit of a shame that almost my entire party is max level, because that means that we can't get free heals by leveling up anymore. Yep, this is definitely a place that's connected to the Great Tree in any way whatsoever. I don't think we've fought a high rank Slagtoth of this color before. Maybe we have while going through a den. Okay, we have. Oh, but it's the good music. We're staying. I love this battle music. It didn't last long. I should have turned down the battle speed. Nah, I'm not going to turn down battle speed just so that I can listen to music longer. I bought the soundtrack. Okay. So, I'm going to grab these chests. Poor Slagtoth. Didn't even get a chance to successfully guard its stuff. And hey, five strength nutriments ain't bad. Okay, now it's hot. That could be a problem. And we'll head this way. Because this way we can hit land a little bit more often. Though actually... Stygian's Ogre is fast enough that we could have taken the other path and not ended up with a burn. Also, I hear a Peko. So I'm going to go ahead and use this just in case it ends up being a Crimson Peko, because I think I still need to fight a high rank Crimson Peko. No, that's a regular Peko. We don't need to fight it, but then again... If we do, it might be able to call in something more interesting than a Peko. So, let's fight it. Looks like it already wants to call something in. 
teleport. No, it was using attack attack on him. Call in a friend. You're gonna die by yourself. You're gonna die so hard. Call in a friend. I'm not going to ride Dynamo. Or actually... Am I? Um... No, I'm not. We'll have him do that, which shouldn't end up killing the Peko. And we'll just kick back. Seriously, soothing song. You need to call a friend. Okay, seems the Peko chose death. A lot of queen shrimp from that. Now there's a crimson peco. So did we just steal this peco's bird wyvern stem? Because if so, I feel kind of bad. <laughs> he was probably saving that for a special occasion. Let's not use speed attacks against this thing. I really need to get a power type attack or a tech type attack on this guy. Power would probably serve me better though. Yeah, it would. Yeah, let's use Drake of shot, why not? Spread Dragon Breath works. it for that crimson peco. I do like finding charms. Ordeal of blazes. Sounds hot. Oh, it's an Uragon. That's it? Dynamo can handle an Uragon no problem. But first, let's scour all this stuff. Because the Uragon's not stopping us. Who knows, we might find things that are nice. Okay, that's enough. Let's go ahead and get rid of his rock friends. Just for curiosity's sake, it's been a long time since I've used sword and shield, so just checking what stuff I can use and Certainly there's a bunch, but nothing I particularly want to use at the moment. That's right, I defeated Powder Stones. Okay, can't use anything right now, so just speed it is. Unfortunately, since we're using a fire weapon against this Aragon, we're not going to be doing much damage. But that's fine, we've still got Dynamo here to do damage for us. And we got it poisoned. I 
I think we can go one more turn without exploding, maybe. Okay, not exactly. Let's try a Thunder Double Fang there, shall we? And there we go. It's a shame Painkiller doesn't also get rid of Blast. That would be nice. That would also be a little bit OP. You didn't have to stop me just to say that we did it. I kind of already knew that we did it. Seriously? You're giving me a normal egg? I need them heavy. Or stinky. Not just normal and normal. Okay, what do we got here? Two nice things, though, admittedly, I don't really need a Leviathan stim anymore. All right, let's go through to our next ordeal. Yeah, this is definitely a place that's directly connected to the heart of a volcano. Oh, look, it's another Jang. Oh, actually. Sounds like the Jang is trying to get us through the wall. Sounds like it's really trying to get us through the wall. Okay, I'm prepared to say that it wasn't particularly worth coming through this dig spot. But that's the way things go sometimes. Just getting ourselves back out kind of quick. And then... Getting ready for this jang. More rewards from a jang ain't bad. I would love to get a skill seal on the first round. But alas, seems twas not to be. Gotta go if it's going speed. Okay, so it's not targeting either of us specifically. Let's get a snow shroud up. And let's use a dust of life, because Boreas could use it. So it used a thing to boost its tech attacks and immediately followed it up with a power attack. What? Mm. Okay, I was expecting it to actually want to use tech. Okay, so it did. But oh well. That's a good amount of damage right there anyway. And let's use some speed. Oh. I see how it is. And let's use some speed. Nice misses. Okay. Um, ooh, since it's going for me... Eh, whatever. Okay, I shouldn't have whatever. Ah, but since I killed it, we don't lose the heart. It's 
So it was just fine that I whatevered. And hey, we're at full health again because we just leveled. Yeah, I definitely didn't lose a heart there. Not a thing that happened. And if you think my health went below zero, then, well, you're just clearly wrong. Because we never lost a heart and my health is full, so really, where would you even get an idea like that? That's a couple of Nersillas. But we've already fought these guys in the tower, so I feel no need to fight them here. Especially because I don't need their parts. At least as far as I know. Eh, these aren't rare spots, so they probably won't have gloam grass. And so, we press on and find bug-related stuff. And so we press on further. Ooh, hello. Hooray for free XP. Though admittedly, most of my party isn't getting any of it. Give me another ordeal. Okay, fine. I guess we gotta go one more. Or maybe two, or maybe like eight. I don't even know. Have we fought a high rank Gendroma? I don't think we have. I guess we'll find out. Okay, we have. But there's a thunder call incoming, so let's just give that a look. Delicious. Genprey just has to watch. It shouldn't have answered the call. Okay, let's see what we got over on the other side of this. As well as what we got in it. Yeah, I don't need to hop out of the water for just a seed type thing and a mushroom. Still no ordeal. Really? More spiders? I guess I can ignore them too. Dang it. I wanted to get the ore type thing, but there was a spider in the way. So we had to run, and that took like seconds out of my day. It's a good thing that's a junk pile and not a treasure chest up on that ledge. Otherwise, I'd have had to go back. Ordeal of Gales sounds an awful lot like possibly cushy. And yet it's a Tigrex. Not what I would have expected, but Dynamo ought to be a decent choice here. Not the best possible choice. I think, actually, uh, Aeolus would be great. Well... If the Tigrex decides to start using dash combo, Aeolus will be good. But otherwise, Dynamo is actually probably the better choice.
Okay, let's open with Thunder Double Fang. That ought to do just fine. Yeah, that did just fine. Okay, you can use Poison Spit since it's not targeting you. Ow. And I believe this will probably finish it. Yep. Could have dealt with having more Tigrex stuff. But oh well. Yeah, I know. Seriously, just a regular old Baroth egg with middling smell and middling weight. Why did you give me the best egg first? Like, seriously. I got the best egg first. <laughs> uh, I guess that's the way it's gotta be sometimes, I guess. I said I guess twice there. Onward. We'll go one more ordeal this episode. Seriously, another Jang? They like giving me Jangs. That's fine by me. I'll take the Jangs. They're decent fights, decent XP. And they give me Jang parts, which can be used for Jang gear or for Zenny. Okay, since it's not going for either of us right now, let's just start with a snow shroud as usual. Oh, what? That's what's in my item set right now. Okay. And still the day where we open up with the uh, skill seal is not yet arrived. But there it is. So this Jang is probably going to have a bad day. No, let's not use power. Let's use Icicle Fang. Okay, I guess you had the right of it. I'm sorry. Yeah, sure. Ow. So this will probably not kill, but we'll get close. Or it'll do nothing because we were too low on health. Sure. This should score a knockdown. And we're just a tiny bit away from being able to actually use our kinship attack, but that's okay. It's dead anyway. See? And we got a nerve. I do so enjoy getting nerves. It's almost as though they're the best possible result as far as Rajang parts are concerned. And we could explore more around the outside of this area, but meh. Yeah, I'm going to go with meh. Okay, Jade Baroth, I don't believe we have fought yet in high rank. And so, let's break out the fire. 
Admittedly, Warhead is also fire, but... There's different kinds of fire. We don't have to always use the same one. The Warhead is certainly better fire. At least if fire is the actual goal. Tech was a decent choice, not the best, but definitely decent. Considering that Jade Baroth is a speed type. All right, well, this ought to do some good damage, if nothing else. Oh! So it resists fire when it's got its snow coat. That's odd. How does it feel about lightning? When there's only one target, Thunder Call is easily the strongest electric move. Just for the record. And apparently it's weak to electric when it's got snow. Wouldn't have called that. Would have expected fire to still be good. Hang on, this is blue. Yay. I like Gloam Grass. It's good. Aged Felvine is pretty boring, though. Jade Baroths. That's not exciting. And that was really not a great reward. Seriously, the H crystals are nearly worthless. Considering most of the gems and jewels that you can actually combine using them are medium at best whereas we are at the point where we can just farm monsters to get larges in gene form so why would I want medium the answer is I wouldn't so stop giving me the ability to make more yeah, we fought Kezus before I've got no need to bother them. Red Kezus, we have also fought. They are also in the tower. But this one at least has some stuff, though apparently it can't smell or hear us. That's fine by me. And Ordeal of Crystals. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm not too up on the idea of a mirror match. Let's do this instead. Both of these monsters are weak to one another, but I have a feeling ours is a higher level. It's not Thunder Call just yet. There's three targets, so Spread Shock Breath will be more effective for our needs. And let's use a Tech Attack over here. Because if we get to go first, then we get to build up some kinship. And also apparently almost kill it. K 
Okay, power is almost never going to be the right choice against a Stygian and Ogre. Thunder Double Fang, on the other hand, is almost always going to be at least an okay choice against a Stygian and Ogre. A Stygian and Ogre who's very dead now. And far too many Dragonfell Berries, and another Umbridge. Alright, what kind of egg we get here? I'm gonna guess Kezu. I'm gonna have to throw away an egg or two to make room for the other ones that we're going to find in this labyrinth, because we're not done here yet. We're just done with this episode after we get in here, grab our rewards, get healed. Yeah, that was a Kezu. Yay, an herbivore egg fragment. Exactly the kind of thing I always definitely want to have and definitely don't hate. All right, well, that's it for this episode. Join us next time when we continue in this labyrinth, because we will reach the end of it some point. See you then, friends. <laughs>